Ah, what a bright, sunny, beautiful day, my friends, and I'm back! It's been a little while since I've uh, actually been on camera. Uh, in fact, since the Rude Boys uh, uh, scale truck competition that we just released. What a lot of fun that was, number one, I'd like to start off with. Um, and then, of course, I kind of disappeared for a little while. And you guys have read the title of the video, and I want to talk about uh, my back injury today which I've really never addressed on the show because I've always wanted the show to be completely about entertainment for you guys, a way for you to escape the everyday, the norm, you know, all the news out there. You could always come to RC Adventures and, and uh, kind of forget about what's going on out there and how much fun you can have with RC. But I cannot uh, negate the fact that I haven't been online for a few weeks here. And I'll tell you what happened. I'll give you some background history in a minute, but uh, long story short, I've got something called degenerative discs. Now, I know a lot of people out there also have back and spine problems. Uh, a lot of you guys have had your bones fused. A lot of you guys have had herniated discs. And uh, I feel so much pain for you guys that have to actually put up with an affliction like this. So many of us out there have different issues like arthritis and all that stuff. Um, but let me, let me put it into perspective. So you guys know that I have a racetrack on my property here uh, that Gem and I usually host, like the Big Dirty and Fifth Scale stuff. And you haven't seen me do a lot of racetrack stuff this year. And, and the reason why is because my spine has been giving me way more issues. So two weeks ago, or let's say three weeks ago, I spent about 10 minutes inside my skid steer. Even though I've got a radio controlled skid steer, for the issues that I have but I thought ah, I've been feeling good for about four or five months I can spend 10 minutes in the skid steer skid steer is like a bobcat for those that don't know it's like the, the term but really it's just a small front end loader and uh, so I did that and I felt it bouncing me around a skid steer doesn't have a lot of suspension to it uh, I do have an air ride seat in there but still it, it really kind of any heavy duty operator of equipment knows that your body takes a beating. So I got out of the skid steer. I knew I was a little bit tight in the back and uh, bounced me around quite a bit. A few days later, I went and bent down just to pick up some, uh, um, some cable for my weed eater uh, or whippersnapper, whatever you guys want to call it out there. And I pinched one of my discs. Now my discs where they're degenerative are in uh, L4 L5 and L3 which is right above my pelvis and when I pinch a disc or when I pull the muscle or whatever it is that happens in there because I'm still trying to find out an answer about it uh, it causes great swelling and in about two hours I, I kind of seize up uh, so I had to cancel my trip to BC because I was going to go out and see my dad and unfortunately it was like the day before I was supposed to take a seven hour drive down to British Columbia another province in Canada and I had to cancel it and so my wife and son were already out there and they ended up having to come back uh, at the end of their trip and uh, a few weeks later I actually had an opportunity to go BC again when I pinch my back just a little I'm usually out for about a week and a half where I can't walk very well uh, kind of hobble around and I've got to be really careful because my back if this was me standing straight looking right at you My back kind of does this at the hip and that's not me bending forward That's my back bending off to the side and then of course my my spine wants to be straight with my head up and down Right, so it kind of causes a curve in my spine regardless I was feeling better. I thought to heck with it. Let's go out to uh, BC I took my kid, uh, Morris, and Jem with me, and we stopped at a friend's place on the Shushwap Lake, which is a beautiful lake. And uh, while my wife wanted to chat it up with one of her friends, little Morris, being three and a half, and uh, the, the people that were out there wanted to take us out on a speedboat. I'll tell you, man, I knew the risk at that time, but little Mo wanted to go, and I thought it was pretty cool, and we were supposed to go pretty slow, and so I wasn't worried too much about my back. But as we were out there, it started to get a little choppy, and of course the boat's banging up and down. And Morris was sitting on my lap, because I'm hugging him like any dad would. 
and uh, my, my spine took a bit of a beating again. And so three days later after that, because everything tightens up even when I'm stretching, I went to pass my phone to uh, 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 Morris's grandma and instantly I pinched my back again and it dropped me down to my knees and if anybody knows what it's like to pinch a disc or to throw a disc or slip a disc or whatever you guys want to call it, it is crippling and I knew as soon as I did it that I was in trouble. So uh, what happened after that? Well, it was only an hour before I was supposed to take uh, little Morris and Jem to the airport and I was going to spend the rest of the week with my dad out there and I was able to drive them into the airport into Kelowna and get back but by the time I got back my dad had to help me out of the truck because my back was seizing up and when your muscles start to seize up and your spine starts to swell it's basically like feeling like you've got like one of those wooden door wedges stuck in between your spine and any kind of movement just really hurts and uh, really I spent four days laying in my dad's camper trailer which was you know that's where I just stay when I'm there and it was not fun and Advil 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 even though it's bad for your digestive system really wasn't working and my son was actually having some orthodontal surgery to his little teeth there uh, and I wanted to be back for that so the day before I had to get into the truck and take a seven hour drive back to Calgary uh, out to Strathmore where I live now and uh, boy I'll tell you I pulled in here and I was basically in tears I was having a hard time turning the steering wheel to my truck and uh, my son's surgery was the next day and so I was in uh, the bedroom laying down and the next morning I woke up and my body had totally seized and uh, so seizing basically and this gets a little embarrassing but this is what happens uh, you, you can't move your body you can't lift yourself out of bed you can't do anything without terrible shrieking muscle spasms in your back and so we had to call an ambulance and I went to the hospital that day so they could start to release the muscles that were causing me so much pain and pulling my spine out of alignment. And uh, really, my son went on to have his surgery that day. I did the hospital trip on my own, which is totally cool. Unfortunately, I've had to do it before in my life because when I first hurt myself, I was 19 years old. And it was when I was doing seismic work, uh, D3 seismic work, which is basically going into the mountains, helicopter lifted in, and then you got these big, what they call horse collars, wires and sensors that you stick into the ground for drilling companies to know, you know, the vibrations on the mountain and different kinds of things. There's a big story behind seismic work. But I hurt myself then. And, and then later in life when I was being a skinny kid and I was probably around 20, 21, I thought I could bulk up by doing a job called pallet racking. And if you guys go into Home Depot or any of those kind of, you know, warehouses, they've got all these big racks with pallets on them. And uh, I was the one of the crew that was actually assembling pallet racking back when I was, you know, like I said, in my early 20s. And that, unfortunately, in one day, because the pallet racking comes in pieces, in one nine hour shift, I ended up moving something like eight tons of metal. And I weighed about 135 pounds at the time. I did for the longest time, just a skinny little bean. And uh, I ended up compressing those discs that I have an issue with now. And so I was in a back institute back then for about six months. And so no settlement or anything like that. Everybody always asks, you know, oh, I think Aaron, you know, got a settlement for his back. That's why he does this YouTube thing and how he was able to do all this. And that's, that's not it, actually. Um, after I was 20 and went through that six months of rehab for my back, it settled down quite a bit. They didn't have MRIs back then to have a look inside your spine, so we really couldn't tell what was going on. And as I got older, it got progressively worse, especially when I took office jobs. Before I did the YouTube thing, uh, yes, I was a rave DJ, went out and had great parties and did all that stuff. Still had slight back issues at that time. Um, and I can say that 
<laughs> apart from that, I went on to do other work, like um, technical work, computer work. Finally, I worked my way into a manager's position uh, where I was sitting at a desk uh, most of the time, which is really a, a bad thing when you have a back injury, I found out. And so over the years, uh, right around 2009, I really started having bad back seizures. And that's where your muscles are just cramping up. And so over the time, with the muscles cramping up and those discs kind of getting worse, uh, I, I started YouTube. That's what I was doing back in the day when I started YouTube. I started off with 600 subscribers after like six months of work, and I was one of the first people accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, uh, which is how we all get paid through advertising. Most people get paid now on YouTube. And, uh, and that's... you know, that's kind of like the synopsis of how that started. Now with my back to go back uh, to what's going on, the therapy I've had, um, anything from acupuncture, uh, I've had acupressure, which seems to help a little bit more. I've already done uh, decompression therapy, which is a actual computerized table that stretches your spine. It's kind of like the old medieval rack when you get stretched. Uh, but this is like a computerized table that kind of separates, like I, I'm holding the camera with one hand, but each side of the table kind of stretches your back. And that's to help those discs suck in fluid so they become more full, because there's no way once those discs in your spine lose the fluid to get that back, except eating gelatin and like jello and all this stuff, and it, it helps a little bit. So, you know, I've done that, I've done physiotherapy, I do exercises on my back. Um, we talk about, could, could we have surgery on my back? And I'm, I'm on that borderline area where I hurt my back at least once a month and it's crippling me and it affects my show, it affects what I can do for you guys. Uh, it affects the amount of work I can do on the racetrack and everything because I can't get in the skid steer. And some of you wonder why I would even have a Polaris Razor side by side, right? Because I obviously have the ranch and like to scoot around in it with the family and whatever. Uh, there is a full suspension. It's like riding a, basically a Cadillac when you go over the bumps and stuff. It doesn't really bother my back and my back doesn't bother me every single day. <clears throat> just about three weeks of every month <laughs> and the difference between riding in a skid steer uh, and riding in the razor is like there's there's just basically no comparison anyone that actually owns one knows uh, and so when my back is feeling decent I always go outside and, and have a bit of fun right so but Hence why I've got a radio control skid steer. Uh, that's why I ended up purchasing that was because A, it was very cool for the show, and B, I can't really spend a lot of time in the machine at all anymore. In fact, it's gotten to the point where I can't really use the ride along lawnmower anymore because of just of the constant bouncing on those three vertebrae. So the surgeon says to me, uh, there's not much we can do because the discs aren't bulging enough and the risk of hurting you it outweighs the risk of you going through this pain until you're 60 when your discs basically all dry out and the pain should go away. Well, that is decades away from me. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to heal. So sometimes I have to walk around here on a cane. Unfortunately, it's true. I've always hidden this from you guys. I've always had this affliction ever since I've started the show. Um, and push through the events like the big dirty and whatnot and uh, you know I think over time I've kind of made it worse so this year I've had to make a big decision unfortunately because it's getting close to big dirty time where I'm not going to be able to do it this year I'm sorry there's so many folks out there that love fifth scale I love fifth scale I'm just one fellow though that can't pull it all together this year uh, sound system, timing system, you know, we even built that big driver stand last year. Check it out, all the way down there. But unfortunately, with what's going on right now, I've got to limit myself and heal my back because there's one thing I love, and that's holding my three and a half year old son. And if anybody knows about having a son that's a young fella, they are just full of energy and they just want to play all the time and nothing makes me happier than lifting my little kid and seeing him smile. So I got to heal the back. 
Uh, this doesn't mean that I'm stopping RC adventures at all. It just means that I have to kind of modify what I'm doing. Uh, when I'm on the rocks filming for you and bending and twisting, that's really hard on my back. I can pinch it like that and be out. Um, but hang in there with me. I haven't given up after all these years, and I hope you don't give up on me after all these years, because we sure have had a lot of fun with the RC adventures, uh, and I still have a ton of ideas that I want to do. I just kind of have to limit my movements for the next little while uh, to make sure that my injury doesn't get any worse. Now, I know so many of you must have comments and questions, and I want you to leave them in the video uh, comment section down below. If you had injuries, or if, you've, you know, if you know somebody that suffers from degenerative discs, uh, let me know. You know, it's always good to have new information. I do use a back brace from time to time. Sometimes I find it's more of a hindrance and hurts me more than just trying to build my muscles. Uh, but it, it sure can be disappointing when I know I'm letting you guys down because I love doing the show for you and I want to continue doing the show for you. Uh, and when I'm having to take time off for doing the show, it crushes me because I know you guys are all waiting, especially during August. It's my busiest season and it just seems to be the slowest one for me this year. But every time I go out and every time I'm doing those videos, I want you guys to know that I'm out there doing it because I have a passion for RC, I've got a passion for entertaining you guys, and I've got a passion for pushing out the great vibes that the hobby of radio control has all over the world. And there's so many people now on YouTube doing RC videos, there is a plethora of amazing content. And I must have about 1,200 videos that we've done uh, of, of, of all different types of RCs. Maybe you haven't seen it, uh, all, all of them or some of them, um, but there's some gems out there. A lot of people come back to me and say, holy cow, I didn't know that you made this video. It's been awesome. Um, so guys, while I'm going through this time, please help out my family. We don't have Patreon or anything like that, but if you're an, interested in RC, go back, watch some extra videos. This will give me some time to heal up and do the videos that I want to do again. And don't worry, in the next few days I'll have another video out. I'm almost to the point where I can get up and have a little bit more fun myself. Because I am jonesing to get out and have some monster truck and scale action for you guys. Also out on the water. And so I've got some ideas. You guys will see. Guys, thanks for listening. Hopefully you've made it all the way through this. Now you guys know I've been battling with this for... <laughs> The last nine years I've been doing the show just gets a little worse with age, but I'm always optimistic and finding new ways to help it heal. And uh, I'll keep doing that. You guys keep supporting. Leave a like click in the video description box down below now that you know what's going on. And uh, we'll see you in the next RC adventure. Tagline, get outside and have fun with RC. Because you know that I do, and I will be again. Bye, guys.